Rex Patrick will have plenty to say about submarines. Uh, Jared Rennick, of course, is a senator from Queensland. And, Rich, I've poked just a little fun um, about the Labor Party colouring book. You are a life member. You are a Labor Party hero. Can you get on the phone to Albo and say, why aren't you in the colouring book? Mate, it's a tragedy, this. And I, I'm furious. <laughs> this is something that's got me really angry. I'm going to pick at Albo's house over the weekend with a, with a great big sign. Why have you forsaken me? Correct. But I'm a big man and I can take it. Don't worry, I'll take it. I'll get there. Well, you're a good man. I'm telling you, it is, it, it, out. it is a major omission, you know, major omission. You can drop the misogyny speech and put Richo back in, you know, do him in all of the different versions of Richo. <laughs> you could have maybe the colouring book of Richo. It should be part for all the life members. Now, let's talk about the subs. Rex, um, you've been front and centre talking for a long time about uh, the stupidity of the deal made five years ago. What do you think of what's been announced today? Oh, um, good evening, Paul. Look, I think what's happened today is a good thing. Uh, we had a submarine pro uh, project that was uh, $40 billion over budget, had gone from 90, sorry, from $50 billion to $90 billion. It was running behind schedule. It uh, wasn't meeting our objectives in terms of industry involvement, and it was unlikely to deliver uh, a regionally superior submarine. And so I welcome the news that the government has pulled the shutters down on this. My only uh, criticism is that it should have been done uh, sooner. Now, what do you think about the, the obvious uh, uh, South Australian workforce part of all of this? There obviously was an attempt at, you know, uh, um, Pine obviously wedged it to be uh, that under the French deal there would be a significant component from South Australia. Um, do we have to wait and see about whether, you know, literally uh, one company replaces another, South Australia plays the same role? Well, we do have to be mindful of some very experienced engineers that were working on the French program that we don't want to lose from the system. We don't want to leave, uh, see very capable people leaving that domain, going into, say, mining or other technology fields and then never being able to get them back because, the, uh, as you know, the Prime Minister announced uh, a very ambitious and very complex plan as the replacement for the uh, French submarines and we're going to need everybody uh, that we, we can, every engineer, every technician, every project manager that we can get our hands on that have got experience uh, in the submarine game. Richard, what did you think of how all this played out today and uh, what it means for the intermediate future of our defence? Oh, we've got a Richo uh, technical issue. We'll double check on that. Jared, uh, as a senator, obviously you'll be happy that all of this has uh, has come to pass right now. How do you think it's gone down today? I think it's gone down very well, Paul. And uh, congratulations should be given to Peter Dutton uh, for implementing this project. I know a lot of other ministers worked on it as well, but it's great, you know, to see that Peter played such a large role in this. Uh, and I know that my base was probably one of the, you know, when I ran as a senate candidate back in two thousand and sixteen. Uh, you know, many of our own members uh, in AMP were complaining about the submarine deal then. So from our, from the point of view of the party, they'll be very happy, our, our members, and I think the point of view, strategically speaking, with Australia, uh, you know, we're surrounded by water. We've got, you know, we really needed a strong marine presence, uh, maritime presence, and I think these submarines are going to deliver that. Rex, uh, what's the detail either... I mean, obviously, you're not going to get all the detail today. What's some of the underlying questions, the stuff, Rex, that you think uh, we, we need to be thinking about as the, the I's and T's are being done in the next little while? Uh, look, as we move forward, uh, looking towards a nuclear submarine force, we have to be very, very mindful of the challenges. Uh, of all the countries that operate nu uh, nuclear submarines, uh, and that is uh, the US, the UK, France, China... Uh, Russia and India, they all have a nuclear industry. We don't have that. Uh, we're going to have to address that. I'll give you a simple example. When I was riding around on US uh, Navy nuclear submarines, I was speaking to a nuke tech. One of the people that operated the reactor asked him about his, uh, his, his uh, education. He had been to nuclear school for a couple of years and then he'd gone to a civilian reactor where he'd practiced, practiced his trade before he was let loose uh, alone on a, on a submarine. Uh, so there are huge problems with the fact that we don't have a, uh, a nuclear uh, industry and indeed uh, we also don't have a framework of nuclear safety that we have to develop. 
Uh, these are critical things that we're going to have to do moving forward in addition to you know, whatever uh, shape or form the future submarine, uh, the new future submarine uh, comes in. Richo, uh, whenever these announcements happen, there's always the first couple of days when essentially what has been presented to us is how we um, take it on and then slowly but surely some of the critics start to come out in the details. Um, what's your sense of this arrangement and any potential issues you think that uh, are going to be obvious pitfalls? Oh, look, the, when it, submarines have got pitfalls. Um, uh, a lot of, there's a lot of uh, problems in the complexity of them and so you expect that there'll be some dramas. But look, this looks like a pretty good deal to me. It looks to me like, you know, it's got a, uh, a fair degree of Australian involvement. It's got international technology that's first class. I think we should be looking at this and saying, wacko, yeah, um, yeah. we're doing well. I'm, I'm certainly not disappointed in it and I, uh, I hope everything goes very well.